It's been about a month or two since I last made a video, uh, but I wanted to catch up on what's been going on with my life. And I basically finished school, I got my state board license and thankfully passed the first time because I was super, super nervous about it. And ever since moving to a different county, it's been a bit harder to find a place that I wanted to work at. I personally wanted to work with kids or just like gentlemen type cut places, not so much a barbershop. Um, so it's been a little bit harder, especially because if I stayed where I was, like I would have a place like a shop to work at, but it's quite a commute and driving again for another hour and a half just to get to work would be a pain. So it's been a little bit difficult to find a shop here. Um, however, I'm sure I'll be able to at some point. Um, maybe even if it's a little bit farther out. But other than that, I've just been studying more to finish my real estate. I haven't had a real doctor's visit in a while again. That one time that I had a doctor's visit and they gave me my lab work, I thought, you know, it would be great because I get it done and then I'll have someone go over it with me. But... I realized they never tested me on my testosterone levels. They just tested me on everything else but that. And then once I got my blood work done, my doctor wasn't there anymore. And they said they were going to transfer me to a different doctor. But then I couldn't contact that doctor because they never gave me the info. So I just got my blood work and I went over it myself and I looked at it. And I was like, all right, it looks good. But my testosterone was never in there. So I tried to request for my testosterone to be tested, but nobody responded forever. And I eventually found out that it was because the doctor that they gave me before was leaving to go to a different hospital. So then she couldn't go over my blood work. So then they were transferring me to a different doctor. But then that doctor, I guess, also had left a month later. Therefore, I was left with no doctor for a few months. And I told them that I needed my blood work done. And they still haven't given me anybody. So I don't really have a doctor still. Um... I'm still able to get my testosterone and I, I donated blood recently again still. Um, my girlfriend helped me find a place because I have been putting it off and just wanted to stick with the old place I would go to um, where I donate blood with the San Diego Blood Bank. But she found a place around where we live. I went there and uh, yeah, the, I needed the authorization for the therapeutic blood donation. And since I had no doctor, I couldn't really get it. Um, but I actually went back to a different doctor, which she is super awesome. And I really feel like she's been there for me all the time when I need her. Even if she knows I don't go to her anymore because, well, right now, because of just like the fee, because she doesn't take insurance. Um, which is good for some people, like if you really want to just go to a place and you don't have insurance um, to cover it, you can just pay out of pocket, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, so there is that. Um, and her fees there, I guess, would be pretty good for people if they don't have insurance. But she gave me the authorization letter. Yeah, so basically this doctor that I really like, I went to because I was transferring insurance and I didn't know where else I could go just in case if nobody can take me. Take me. My gosh, stop. Wait, just go there. <laughs> it's okay, Cole. Uh, yeah, so I basically went and went to her because she took cash and so I was able to get like a follow-up, like do my lab work and she was able to prescribe me my testosterone um, and I could just pay her cash. So it was really great. Oh my gosh, 
You are so nibbly, extra nibbly today. Ay. But you're making my nostrils flare, Aspen. Even Cole's tired of him today. Um, but yeah, she was able to help me with everything I needed. And like, what's really nice is even though I still kind of don't have a doctor, I was able to contact this other doctor in Orange County and she would help give me the authorization for like my therapeutic blood donation and whatnot. And I told her too how I don't know my testosterone levels because for some reason they never put that in the lab work last time. And so she even sent me a lab slip and told me to go do it and that she'll go over it with me. Um, and I thought like, she's really nice. Like she really cares a lot and I really am grateful for that. Yeah, but other than that, for the past couple months, like, any changes I've noticed, they're mostly physical, like, my hair. It's super, like, wavy in a way. Like, the texture and the way it falls is different now. <laughs> in the beginning, I had those constipated tear ducts, but then now I, I cry easily still. Like, when we're watching Korean dramas and there's a scene that makes me want to cry, I will cry. If I think about my grandma, I get sad, I just start crying. Like, when I just feel emotional and about something, like, I will cry and nothing will stop me from being snotty. Like, I will be so snotty that then for the next few days, my nose is very clear. <laughs> so it's just, I cry so much. Um, but other than that, I feel like I don't have so many emotional ups and downs lately because I've been more consistent with my shot day. I feel like sometimes I have such a good week, like my dose is fine now, my body's used to it. I feel like there hasn't really been too much of a dosage change anymore. I don't feel, there hasn't been a dosage change since the last time I went and had my dosage change. So anyways, oh, um, I've just been consistent with it now, and I noticed that I feel great for the whole week, except if I forget to do it on a Tuesday, I'll randomly just feel like poop, and I'm like, ugh, why do I feel like this? Like, I just feel really sad, and I, like, look at the calendar, and I'm like, oh, it's Wednesday, oh, maybe that's why. I continue to feel poopy till later I get my shot done. But I generally feel down when I miss my shot day. So I've been trying to be more consistent with it. Like, even if I feel good on a Tuesday, I'm still gonna do it and make sure I do it on Tuesday because I don't want to feel like poop the day after. So, um, yeah, basically that. So emotionally I've been feeling steady more steady than when my doses changed um other than that just working on my personal growth because i feel like it's something that i haven't really done very much of in the past i was gonna say in my past life <laughs> in the past uh i just feel like i have so many things that i need to work on and i don't want to make other people suffer because me because of traits or characteristics of myself that I don't think are good. I know I need to work on my listening and communication. Um, I have so many bad habits. There's this book, there's this book I got, and I got it recently. I got it because I had good reviews, but I also read all the reviews, and I'm like, wow, it saved their relationship. It helped this person. I want that. So I got the book. I've been reading it, I'm taking notes, and I like it. Like it. I feel like it's taught me a lot of things on how to be a better man and I might as well become the best I could be and not be a bad version of what I would want. Cole, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like I want to be the best version I can be and that just means like watching out for like how I, like watching out 
It's been so hard to make this video. Like, literally, this has been going on the whole time, and I lose my train of thought. I want to make sure that I own up to things that I haven't done right in the past. I work on what I need to work on in the present, and in the end, in the future, I'd like to be the best person I can be. I also know that I think too much, and I have a lot of thoughts that go on through my head really quickly and sometimes when I talk I don't know how to say it or it'll come out really weird so I guess just trying to think more slowly so probably in the next video that I make I'll um, once I'm done like writing notes and stuff I'll talk about things that I learned because I'm excited about sharing it because I think it's stuff that everyone could use like knowledge everyone can use it's sometimes like cause for me like it's stuff that i don't really think about constantly i don't really realize it but i really want to exercise that and incorporate that into my life like the things that i've learned out of this book other than that yeah just been busy with these cats because we got a kitten and that'll be another story to share later but yeah if there is more i'll talk about it next time that's all for now. So thank you for watching and for making it to the end. Um, that's all I have to say for now. So feel free to follow along if you want. Really, it's just going to be me rambling or maybe giving some advice, but mostly me rambling. <laughs> Aspen. Cool. You guys.